All right, y'all. We got another one. We got another one, y'all. We got another one. And, and I had to whip out the seriously shirt out once again. Now, I like to let these naturally come out. I, I try not to ride waves and, you know, I try not to make these a little too cliche. You know what I'm saying? I like for it to be natural. You know what I'm saying? I like to just pop open the internet and I just see something that just triggered this little fire inside of my belly. So, you know, I, 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 I see these conversations going around on the internet. You know what I'm saying? About who really, dare I say this word, paved the way. I didn't even want to say that. I seriously didn't even want to say that, but can't think of no other way to say it. So I see these conversations going around. And I also, one thing about me is I'm really good at picking up on energy. I, I don't know where I get that from, but I'm good on picking up on energy. And I can feel this energy that for whatever reason, I for the life of me do not understand this, but for whatever reason, there's just this energy that people just don't want to give props and respect where it's honestly just do. I'm going to try my best to not yell at you. I'm going to try my best to not yell at you because everybody else is yelling. So I'm going to try to talk. I, I just, I just want to talk. Let's have a talk. Okay. For whatever reason, there's just this energy that people just don't want to give this respect where it's due. And that rattles me a little bit, just a little bit, just, just a little bit. Okay. And, and, and this is, this is, this is where I hold the criteria for this conversation is I don't see other K pop. I know I hate that word. I hate that word, but for the sake of categorization and conversation, I'm going to use it. I'm going to blasphemy. Is use it in this video. I don't see other K-pop artists from groups having a successful solo career. And it just blows my mind with the clarity that I can see these type of things with. That this is even a conversation. How is this even a conversation when your guy or female haven't even started a solo career? Your guy or female, for the most part, don't even make their own music. I don't even know if they write it. I'm not that deep in it. And it, it blows my mind when I see these conversations. See, I'm trying to calm it down because I'm trying to talk to you. I, I just want to talk to you. I'm not trying to yell at you this time. I just want to talk to you. I could talk to you too. It just blows my mind because you're a guy or female or female or guy. Well, whatever the fuck makes you happy. Okay. Are they selling records as a solo? I don't care what the group did. Okay, a group could do anything. Let's use a metaphor for relationships. That's like saying, oh, but he comes from a nice family. Okay, but what is he doing for you as the individual that he is? How is he, as an individual, making you feel? Or she, once again, whatever makes you fucking happy. Okay? How are they treating you as an individual? I don't care what the group did. And that's where this conversation starts at with me. Is your guy or female selling records? Is your guy or female doing stream numbers as a soloist. I don't care about the group. As a soloist, 
Oh, wait, what do, what do record labels and corporations care about the absolute most? Are they even on tour? Are they even on tour? Have they even started a tour as the soloists? I don't care what the group did. I don't care what the group did. A group can do anything. A group of idiots can be powerful. I don't care what the group did. So this is where this conversation starts. I, 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 I mean, because, you, you know, this, this is what record companies really care about. I just seen an article today saying that labels and owners are getting depressed because they can't find musical acts, upcoming musical acts, to actually sell shows. For the people in the back who understand lamest terms like myself, can they put ass in seats? Because AI can't put ass in seats. Okay? Streaming farms can't put ass in seats. That's one thing I, I, I always love. That's one thing that this world has gotten right. The numbers don't lie. AI cannot put ass in seats. Let me calm down because we're talking. Let me let me calm down because we're talking. Okay? I don't know about your female or guy, but my horse makes his own music, writes his own music, composes his own music, can play guitar, piano, what else this mofo plays? Something else I'm probably forgetting. That's how long the list is. My horse had not a successful show, but sold out an entire world tour. Just stop it. Just stop it. My horse Sold a million records on the very first day of release, making history to be the first rapper, rapper, rapper in history. As long as this world been along, you, you, you know, when you go to school and they teach you about the caveman, they teach you about when we were just fish in the ocean, apparently. They teach you about all this stuff. So from there, from fish to us now as human beings, just running our mouths on the internet, ironically. No other rapper has ever sold a million records. For those who don't know what a million records is, let me allow, let me educate you for a little bit. That is what the music industry call as platinum. You hear all the time, rappers, bro, oh, yeah, dog, my shit went platinum, dog. We went platinum, dog. Well, my horse did it on the first day of release. So, you know, the numbers don't lie. The number, and you know what? I think they know this. I think they know this. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I ain't even going to say the name because I'm talking to you. I'm not yelling at you. I'm talking to you. This is how they continue to stay cool. This is how they continue to keep their composure, continue to keep their demeanor, and just keep making history like it's, like it's just yawning. Oh, damn, I made history again. Oh, damn, we made history again. And it just blows my mind how there's just this energy that people just don't want. You know, that's just how people is. I'm starting to pick up on this. This is there's, there's, there's something about this internet world that is so different from reality. It's almost like the internet world is a different brain. And let's be honest, it's, it's really just Twitter. Instagram, uh, TikTok, um, somewhat YouTube. YouTube comments still actually make a bit of sense. 
they still got some of their life in them. But there's something about those social media worlds that people just get on there. And it's, it's a different world. It's a different language. It's not even the language of the real world. Because the language of the real world says that until you have a successful solo career, who are you? Who? Who are you? Who are you? You haven't even had a successful solo. You haven't even started your solo career because you're probably scared. You're probably scared. And I don't blame you. It's a cruel world out there. They'll eat you alive, spit you out, and don't even care. But it just blows my mind how there's this, this conversation even exists. Because my horses continue to make history. Continue to make numbers. The numbers don't lie. These numbers are real people. People that show up to these events at stores and cause pure pandemonium it's real that's because somewhere along the line of your career you touch these people hearts you touch these people same thing with ksi in new york to have a line that crazy somewhere along the line you touch these people hearts and they got up out of bed in the morning in New York and caused freaking riots. Because you touch these people's hearts. The numbers don't lie.